is all tumor. Max veterinary oncologist Dr. Kai Shu oh is treating his bladder cancer with chemotherapy. A cost Max parents are glad to pay, but definitely comes as a shock. Um. <laughs> six thousand and four days, I believe. Um, my, our first initial, yeah. It was rough to begin with, for sure. It was about six thousand dollars in the first few days. For Jimmy Frain and Amanda Reed, their laughter briefly masks their tears. As they ready their American Staffordshire Terrier for his second round of chemotherapy. I mean, he's he's eight, which is not super young, but it's not super old, and he loves life. And if we can give him a chance to live just a little bit longer to enjoy it. There are some trying to ease that pain. You did such a good job. We started falling That's where Beth Vinny and Zars Promise come in. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Oh, I'm not going away. I just thought I wanted to give you a hug. Although they are meeting for the first time in person, Vinny, the founder and executive director of the local nonprofit, has been communicating with the couple for weeks. The vet center partners with Zars Promise, which supports families with pets going through cancer treatments, both emotionally and financially. The organization did reimburse us for the first round of chemo. Today will be a second, but that um, is definitely lifting some of the panic and burden um, looking ahead for sure. Getting a cancer diagnosis in your companion animal is all consuming and it touches every part of your life. Vinny can relate to those feelings. She has lost three pets to cancer. The first being her great Pyrenees, Czar, the namesake of the nonprofit. I made him a promise that day and that promise was to find a way, even though I didn't know how, when, or the capability to help other families on this journey. Which can be a long journey, and one that's often misunderstood. And half of our challenge is helping owners realize it is more about the cancer treatment, it's more about how they feel when they get home at the end of the day. Dr. Shu says when treating pets with chemotherapy, the goal is often not to cure the cancer, just to manage it which can lead to less harsh side effects, if any at all. We're not willing to treat with drugs at doses that, are, that we know are gonna make them sick. So we're really um, dosing at a, a level where we know most dogs, the vast majority of dogs, are gonna feel so much better or normal uh, during their therapy. Hooray, you did it! Hi, buddy. You did great. Yeah. Good job. Despite a good fight, Max's condition worsened just days later, and the couple made the difficult decision to put him down. But Max's memory will forever live in the hearts of those who loved him. And for Jimmy, Mac will forever be his right-hand man. You even have your, uh, your, his name tattooed right there. Yes, I got this four years, four or five years ago. So why did you do that? Because he's just a special friend, and he deserved it. And he's just my best buddy, and... I don't know, time was right, so I put his name on. And not every cancer journey has a happy ending, but many do. Coming up tonight at 10, Maria will tell you about how veterinary oncologists at the UW Vet Medical Center are using new research and radiation technology to treat cancers in both pets and people.